This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. And so what we already have going on here is this. Ooh, ooh, ah, da, da, da. And uh, my player moves. I'm touching the keyboard. We can't land on a platform yet or collect stars, but you get the idea. If yours isn't doing that, go back and do the other parts of this lesson. All right. Player interactions. The last part of making your game is programming the player interactions with other sprites. First, the player needs to land on the platforms. Do this. Create a player land function. Okay, I'm going to scroll to the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to grab functions and drop one in. I'm going to just separate it out real quick just because I think it's easier to read this way. Okay, and then I'm going to name this player lands. And add it to the functions. Yep. Because the functions we're declaring, we're creating under the draw loop and our variable declarations. Inside the function, use the collide block so that your player can land on the platforms. Yes. And remember, inside the collide block too, the collide block actually checks. Um, it's like an if statement and an animation all in one. And I'll t show you what I mean. I'm going to drop that in here. So what it is, is it is not only saying, hey, collide with an object, it checks if the player is touching that object. So we're going to say if player on both platforms. So we need one for platform one, okay? And we need one for platform two. And what's cool about code is as we get more advanced, we'll be able to only write, uh, oh, my first platform was just named platform. We would be able to do this without without making one for platform one and two as we get more advanced. Not yet, but we'll be able to do a collide and have it automatically be for both. All right, so now this creates our function, but we need to call it. We need to tell the code to run this chunk of, the, the computer to run this chunk of code. It never will unless we ask it to. The only stuff it runs is the draw loop and the stuff above that, not in any function or loop, these variables. All right. Call the function inside. And to call it, we just need to say its name. Okay. So functions. And its name was player lands. And so once the computer hits this, it's going to look for the function, run that code inside, and then come back here and keep running this other stuff. Let's test it out. Ooh, can I land on something? Oh, oh, I get a break. Oh, look how happy I am. Awesome. So we got it. So that is, we needed to call it, and then this is what we added. Great. Let's keep going. 